So, welcome to the on-water performance portion of the video. So you can see, any of you guys have watched some of my other videos, I usually do it from the GoPro, which is actually right here. But today I'm trying one of the phone mounts for the iRocker All Around, All Around 11 Ultra. So you can. paddling around this board, seeing how stable it is when I stand, my impressions, and we'll go from there. Welcome to another shot from the on water performance video. So this is what the all around 11 looks like when we're just paddling. As you can see, I kind of have my cell phone set up there. And we're paddling just this really glassy, calm water, which it's always kind of a treat in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform some stability tests, some maneuverability, we're going to see how it tracks, and we're going to test the speed a little bit of this board. And we're going to also be shooting another video of this compared to the iRocker all around 11, the regular board that is not the Ultra. So we're gonna be comparing the two and yeah, we're gonna have a lot of cool videos as well being released from a separate video of this. All right, now we're going to try to stand on this board. So let's give it a shot. the paddle like that where the tilted part is just above. Standing. Okay. The initial standing part, tiny bit tippy, but now that I've actually, I'm just standing on it, it feels pretty stable, like, Moving it around, it's going pretty well. Like everything feels pretty controlled. It's like paddle, just with casual strokes. Feels pretty good. All right, so let's talk about the tracking of the board. So I was very interested to see how a board of two fins, two center fins, would track compared to one that has one center fin and two side bite fins that are detachable. So my impressions are that this board actually tracks very well. So if we even do a measurement of the stroke, so let's just, we're gonna point out to that bolt. So one, two, three, four, five, So about six until you have to adjust. Let's try the other side. One, two, three, four, six. So in calm water, it feels like about six strokes per side, which is, you know, not too bad at all. Next, we're gonna do a bit of a speed test. So I have a pretty good understanding with lightweight boards terms of I have an Atoll, I have a Nixie, and this one is just within about like a pound of both of them, a pound or two. So let's try paddling fast here. So my overall impressions are the, the board goes pretty well. Now one thing I did notice 
doing this is that with the paddle, I found that there's a bunch of, you could feel more bend compared to three piece paddles. So if you're paddling a bit harder, you can feel a little bit of that extra bend. Not that it's a bad thing. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snap or anything, but it's just a bit of an interesting feeling, kind of like with hockey players, when they have say like a hard wood stick versus a carbon fiber stick that has like a certain degree of bend. So I'm kind of finding that. But so far this board is paddling pretty well, I'd say. I'd say the tracking compared to say Nixie, maybe just a tiny bit off of there, but still tracks pretty well. So before I do the maneuverability test, just wanted to say, keep a lookout for our next video where we compare this iRocker Ultra all around 11 versus the regular all around model. Um, my friend is out of town right now, so can't really compare it. He's having the time of his life in Calgary. But when he returns, we're gonna compare both these models and we're gonna actually get him to jump onto this board. So keep an eye out for that. Now we're gonna do some simple maneuverability tasks like sweep strokes and little side strokes. So as we're moving, just kind of casually paddling and now we're gonna just do a little stroke around. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Feels mostly steady as I do it. Um, also, the, you could tell um, the, how light the board is whenever you're doing this compared to heavier boards, like the iRocker All Around 11 when I was doing that sweep stroke with the gear on. I'll link the uh, video of me testing that you could feel that it was significantly heavier, but this was a much less effort. Now we're just gonna do little side paddles, like this. So it maneuvers. Oop. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, so I find with the side paddles, it's not as maneuverable. And I have a feeling that could be because of the two nine inch fins. I'll have to look a bit further into that, but that is just my first initial feeling. But hey, you could still do it as I demonstrated. In case you guys are wondering, this is Nickel Mackel River. We've shot a few of our videos like this. Um, we actually picked the perfect time to come out here because it is super calm and the tide is not coming in or out, which is actually really nice. It provides me at least a little bit of basis to how the regular all around 11 2020 model is. So if you found that this video is helpful, feel free to like and subscribe to Inflatable Stuff Authority. Much appreciated. Uh, Thank you for all your support. I've already got some people saying that they thought I did a good job and yeah, I really appreciate it when you guys say nice things, it makes my day. An element I'm noticing with this board and I wanted to get this on film while I had a uh, good old GoPro strapped to me is right now the tide is actually starting to come back in. And so we're paddling against the tide. I can feel it does take a little bit just a tiny bit extra effort paddling against it. Because the board is a little more lightweight, so I can feel the slight difference of the wind. But we're getting to our destination, which is the dock over there. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in as well. So
So what are my final on-water impressions of the iRocker all-around 11 Ultra? I like it, it's a really great board. Um, it's the most lightweight so far that I've come across, so that is really nice. You could especially feel the difference whenever you're picking the board up. Um, and I actually really like the placement of the handle, especially for if you're a little bit shorter, you have shorter arms, you just want to grab it. It doesn't feel like it's such a chore in the middle. Um, the tracking was, it was good. I would say compared to regular boards, maybe it just falls a tiny bit short, but by no means is it a deal breaker and considering that this board folds in half and it's a little bit more lightweight than most regular boards it's, it's still really good um, appreciate the compact size of this board um, the maneuverability felt pretty good St initial stability whenever i stood on it first felt a tiny bit wobbly but as i went it's fine like i'm paddling now doing this like it's fine kind of scared for my cell phone a little bit by the way this phone holder it's not from my rocker it's from nixie um but it's compatible don't tell the folks that i rocker that but i'd wanted to do that as a little test and yeah you can see the mounts work pretty good i do like the placement of it especially when you're kneeling shooting with the phone is actually pretty cool so in terms of speed i do like that you can push this board and because it's lighter it does feel a little bit quicker than the all around 11. again i have to compare them exactly side by side in the same conditions before i can say exactly but that is at least an initial impression so yeah overall i recommend this board it's it's great, especially if you're traveling, like the on-water performance of this is pretty good, especially, you know, you wanna jet down, you wanna go to on vacation, you know, you wanna go to, I don't know, the Bahamas or something, and you don't wanna bring a massive carry-on <laughs> bag with you that has the wheels and the like. This one, the bag is half the size board folds really nice and yeah you're ready to go and it fits most baggage compartment um, areas so it's really cool so thank you for watching this is Derek from inflatable stuff authority testing paddle boards and letting you know my thoughts appreciate your support and I'll see you again soon Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Until the next time. Peace, guys.